Hello YouTubers and today I'm going to be reviewing this which is the 12 inch 2008 Julian Bleach radio controlled Davros. So yeah this came out right at the very end of uh, 2008 in just in time for Christmas and uh, this one here I did actually receive for Christmas 2008 so yeah I've had him that long. Unfortunately um I don't have the box for him anymore because back then my parents just, you know, got rid of the boxes and yeah, it wasn't until later on and in fact a year later when I actually started keeping the boxes. And also we can if we look at the remote here, you can see it's a little bit yellowed on the front compared to the back, which I've taken the back panel off just to easily uh, remove the battery for this, but you can see here that's this one weirdly is nearly the same grey plastic that they used for the Dalek Sec remote. So yeah, and you can also see all the freezers and that on there. But essentially what this is, is just a larger version of the figure, quite literally. And uh, I've been trying my best to try and dust him off uh, for this video, but he does have quite a bit of dust on him. But uh, he's in a much better condition now uh, than he was before. So, yeah, I keep knocking the camera there, unfortunately, because I've got a lot of things in front of me. But that head sculpt does look absolutely fantastic. You can see all the little details and that and the wrinkles and that in there. He does look really good. Interestingly, though, on the eye itself... Uh, it doesn't have the little uh, line details that the 5-inch uh, figure has. It could be because it's just rubbed off on my one. I don't know. I don't have another one to compare him to. But just looking at him, you know, all the wrinkles and all the textures and that, you get to see it in that up close. But this is literally just a scaled-up version of the exact same sculpt. But it does look really good. You can see all the little panels and that. And these top bits here... You can see here are made of a, a softer rubber so they don't snap off. And that you can see also where some of the dust is harder to get to. But you can also see the little uh, button on the back there of uh, his tunic, I think it's called. And you can see all the straps and that there going down, which do go all the way down inside of him there. You can see in that all the little controls and that on the front, in fact. Let's pick him up and have a look at those controls. You can see all the little levers and switches. There's an LED in there, which I'll show in a minute. But uh, yeah, in terms of everything else, it is just a larger version. It's kind of... This is essentially, you know, a cross between the 12-inch figures and the 12-inch uh, radio control dice. Although, um, he's... more He's in skill more with the radio control Daleks than the 12-inch figures. Yeah. But yeah, his arm does have the exact same articulation that the figure has. It isn't just moulded in one bit, so you can manoeuvre him a bit more. And his hand is a very soft rubber, and he even has the individual fingers. So yeah, he actually does offer a fair amount of uh, posability, although I generally just pose him with his hand on there. The base is just the same as a regular Dalek, or in this case, more or less the supreme in terms of that newer sculpt but it does look pretty good and it's pretty accurate how it is and again i took the power to show you that yes this takes just four double batteries to power him up and he does have an on off button his head also has uh, the articulation as well so again a lot of possibility quite a lot of possibility pretty much again just a larger version of the figure but obviously you know with lights and radio control. And speaking of lights, it's that way on. He lights up, so obviously it's hard to see here in uh, deer lights at the minute, but you can see here this little orb lights up, and his eye, as you can see, also lights up as well. So it is nice that he does have lights. And here's, of course, radio controlled. And yes, even after over a decade, he still works. So, 
let's go through all of his phrases. Activated the holding cells. This is my ultimate victory, Doctor. The destruction of reality itself. The circle of time is closing. The end of the universe is come. You will suffer for this. You are the destroyer of worlds. Welcome to my new empire, Doctor. Daphros, Lord and Creator of the Dalek race. Beware your pride. Why so shy? And interestingly, why so shy is uh, where the extermination uh, effect would normally be. At. So yeah, it's interesting that why so shy is literally where normally the extermination button will be so yeah inter interesting that they use that and they could get it proved me wrong but they did get julian bleach to re-record some of his lines there so yeah they either got him to re-record his lines or possibly they were sent his lines but obviously you know not as good they're obviously quite compressed but you know pretty damn good he he does sound pretty damn good look through it so bravo and that rather than just getting someone to give him an impression and also if you find if you want one of these and you find one of these loose and it doesn't have the remorse with it uh you can just use a standard uh remote as long as it's one of these types of ones so if you have one of character options daleks nsds then as long as it's the same frequency, in this case this one's 27 megahertz, and it does have a sticker on the base saying so as well. Then as long as you have one of those remotes, if, if you find one of these without the remote, but you do already have a remote for another Dalek, you can just use it with that one, which is what I did a lot of the time. A lot of the time I'd only use, you know, uh, one or two of these remotes, and you could control multiple ones at the same time, but... Yeah, he is a really nice radio controlled uh, Davros, but he also makes a really nice display piece. He is one of my favourite radio controlled Davroses. Well, he is my favourite radio controlled Davros, but in terms of like radio controlled, you know, Dalek slash Davros, he is probably my favourite. And the simple reason is, is because, well, there, there's literally nothing wrong with him, you know. With the other with the other stuff, you know, you could always find something, but with this, yeah, he's pretty much perfect as is. You know, there's nothing I would really change about him at all. He is brilliant as is, and it's a shame that uh, he never had a re-release, and more than likely will never have a re-release, which is a shame unless you know they decide. Algo Argosides just got releasing radio controlled Daleks again at B&M or somewhere else, then, yeah, he will more than likely never have a re-release. Now, the price on him does tend to vary a bit. There was a period in time where he was pretty expensive and pretty rare, but uh, the prices now have kind of come down a bit, although, again, they do kind of fluctuate a lot. Um, there was a guy uh, in my local uh, market, and he had one brand new in box for, uh, I think it was £45. I think it was £45. And yeah, it was brand new in box, which I'm still tempted to maybe go and get, uh, just have a one brand new in box. Uh, but uh, this was also the time where they switched over to the boxes that they would use for then onwards, you know, much slimmer, more compact boxes than they originally used. But yeah, overall, he is absolutely fantastic and is probably one of the most accurate radio controlled again Dalek slash Davroses that were ever released. So yeah. Does he have any you know, is there any faults? Is there anything that I would have liked to have seen with him? I mean, me being a bit more morbid, a bit more morbid, I would have loved to have seen a version where uh, this would open up and you could see his bones and bits of muscle and that in there. That would have been nice. But yeah, he he is just a bigger version of his uh, five-inch counterpart. So yeah, he's really good, and there's nothing more to see.
go get him. 